Part 2 Art Throughout the Ages Continuation of the Movements of Art Throughout the Ages The Early and High Renaissance Painting, Sculpture, and Decorative Art of European History such as the Renaissance It is known as a distinct style in Italy, and also the rebirth of ancient traditions. The classical antiquity, that is, the Italian cultural history. For example, the painting of William Adolfi Baguro in 1850, the Dante and Virgil in Hell. According to Charlotte Davis, the classical revival spread throughout Italy and into other European countries. Other famous Renaissance authors include Niccolo Machiavelli, Michel de Montigny, William Shakespeare and Giovanni Boccaccio. Renaissance art marks the transition of Europe from the medieval period to the early and high period. For example of the transitions of style of Renaissance art. The classical style Renaissance down with Romanesque arches in 1905 and Gothic-style architectural details including pointed arches. According to Davis, as the Renaissance style spread throughout Italy and Europe, the architecture also changed, representing a more ornamented, traditionally classical style. For example, the facade of the Santa Maria Novella Cathedral, designed by Leon Battisti Alberti, in Florence, in 1420. The Venetian and Northern Renaissance The Renaissance spreads northward to France, the Low Countries, Poland, Germany, and England Bellini, Giorgione, Titian, Dier, Bruegel, Bosch, Jan van Eyck, Rogier van der Weyden Council of Trent and Counter-Reformation. For example, the St. Francis in the Desert, by Giovanni Bellini, around 1480 from the collection of, the Frick Collection. Nicolaus Copernicus In this period, Copernicus also proves that the Earth revolves around the Sun. That was on 1543. Architecture was really important, and it focuses on the visual keys of perspective in every piece, for example, the Santa Maria dei Miracoli, 1480s, by Pietro Lombardo, who was mainly Venice's leading sculptor. 16th century Venetian painters, long enjoyed a reputation as the standard bearers, of an approach that was at once painterly, effective and steeped, in the primacy of color, as its guiding principle. For example, the Marode altarpiece, of the Northern Renaissance, by Robert Campin, master of Flamel. The Venetian painters were unified by the naturalism of their painting in degrees, that varied from artist to artist, and area to area, but nonetheless present almost everywhere. Another example, the painting of Cima da Congliano, Italian, the Madonna and Child, with Saint Jerome, and Saint John the Baptist. Thus, naturalism to them, meant an investigation of the natural world, with its emphasis on direct observation, as translated into paint, an emphasis that separated their work, from the strongly classicizing styles, of their fellow artists, south of the Apennines. The Mannerism The term Mannerism, describes the style of the paintings and bronze sculpture on this tour. Hence, it is derived from the Italian maniera, meaning simply style. Mannerism is sometimes defined as the stylish style for its emphasis on self-conscious artifice over realistic depiction. For example, the artwork of Jacopo Pontormo, The Entombment. Another example of mannerism painting, is the Eleonora di Toledo, 
an oil painting, painted by, Agnolo Bronzino, an Italian. This intellectual bias was, in part, a natural consequence of the artist's new status in society. No longer regarded as craftsmen, painters, and sculptors, took their place with scholars, poets, and humanists in a climate that fostered an appreciation for elegance, complexity, and even precocity. For example, the design of Giulia Romano, the Palazzo T in Mantova, the Baroque period. This period is all about the splendor and flourish for God. Art as a weapon in the religious wars Rubens, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, Palace of Versailles Thirty Years' War, between Catholics and Protestants. One of the prominent artists of this period was Peter Paul Rubens. He is a prolific 17th-century Flemish Baroque painter, and a proponent of an exuberant Baroque style, that emphasized movement, color, and sensuality. One of his famous artworks was the Elevation of the Cross in 1611. Another prominent artist of the Baroque period was Rembrandt Harmansum van Rijn. He is considered one of the greatest storytellers in art, unusually gifted in rendering people in various moods and guises. His works suggest an acute and loving attention toward the world around him, and a strong understanding of the significant detail a dual quality that inspired later artists. Rembrandt's famous work was the anatomy lesson of Dr. Nicholas Taupe in 1632. In this pyramid-shaped composition, seven awkwardly posed men with bright white, ruffled collars, are intently observing a man named Dr. Taupe, who is facilitating an anatomy lesson. He completely commands the right side of the painting, demonstrating on a male cadaver. The unity of the parts is remarkably well planned, with the angle and size of the dead man, drawing the viewer's eyes into the center. The next prominent artist was Michelangelo Morisi, also known as Caravaggio. He was an Italian painter who is considered one of the fathers of modern painting. For example, the Caravaggio's Judith beheading hollow ferns. Hence, the religious conflicts which had begun in the Renaissance, with the Reformation, and Counter-Reformation, continue well into the 17th century. The battle between the Catholic and Protestants, launched wars, and separated a country. The Netherlands, became Catholic Flanders, that is, modern-day Belgium, and Protestant Holland. Thus, the conflict between the Catholics and the Protestants had a great effect on art. The Catholics, through the efforts of the Counter-Reformation, launched great building campaigns for churches, and their furnishings and decorations, especially in countries like Italy, Spain and Germany, and Flanders. A great demand for art emerged, because of the rise of absolute monarchies, and thus grand courts serving as propaganda, and a statement of authority, and power. The Neoclassical Period Art that recaptures Greco-Roman grace, and grandeur David, Ingers, Gruz, Canova Enlightenment, and during the Industrial Revolution. The Neoclassical Architecture is an architectural style, produced by the Neoclassical Movement, that began in the mid-18th century, manifested both in its details, as a reaction against the Rococo style, of naturalistic ornament. For example, the difference between the Baroque architecture and the Rococo style architecture see the differences of both architectural designs. The Rococo style was characterized by elaborate ornamentation, theatrical swirls, and complex designs. Neoclassicists reacted against this trend, for the exuberant by prioritizing simplicity, symmetry, and the classical ideal of unity. For example, the swing, painted by Jean Honor Fragonard, in 1767. In its architectural formulas, as an outgrowth of some classicizing features, of late Baroque.
In its purest form, it is a style principally derived from the architecture of classical Greece and Rome, and the architecture of the Italian architect, Andrea Palladio. For example, the Villa Capra, also known as Villa La Rotonda, and the Villa Rocca Pisani, Lo Nigo, in 1576. The neoclassical architecture emphasizes the wall, rather than chiaroscuro, and maintains separate identities to each of its parts. For example the Cardinal and the Doctor, a chiaroscuro woodcut, by a go da Carpi. The attitude or intellectual orientation that characterized many works of literature, painting, music, architecture, criticism, and historiography in Western civilization over a period from the late 18th to the mid 19th century. For example, The Liberty Leading the People, Oil on Canvas by Hugues Delacroix, 1830, in the Louvre, Paris. Thus, this period gave rebirth to the art of ancient Rome, and Greece, and the Renaissance, as an opposition to the ostentatious Baroque, and Rococo art, that preceded the movement. The style, most frequently in their arts, and architecture, using the classical elements, to express ideas of nationalism, courage and sacrifice. The movement was inspired by the discovery of ancient Italian artifacts, at the ruins of Herculaneum, and Pompeii. For example, the sprawling ruins, and the atrium of the House of the Relief, of Telephus at Herculaneum. Italy. Mount Vesuvius rising above the ruins of the ancient Roman city of Pompeii. And the stone roadway. Neoclassicism emphasized rationality and the resurgence of tradition. Neoclassical painters took extra care to depict the costumes, settings, and details of classical subject matter with as much accuracy as possible. The Realism Period The attempt to represent subject matter truthfully, without artificiality, and avoiding artistic conventions, implausible, exotic, and supernatural elements. Realism was an artistic movement that began in France in the 1850s, after the 1848 revolution. Instead, it sought to portray real, and typical contemporary people, and situations with truth, and accuracy, and not avoiding unpleasant, or sordid aspects of life. Realist works depicted people of all classes, in situations that arise in ordinary life, and often reflected the changes, wrought by the industrial, and commercial revolutions. Realist works of art are those that, in revealing a truth, may emphasize the ugly or sordid, such as works of social realism, regionalism, or kitchen sink realism. For example of social realism, the painting of Pablo Bean Santos on oil on canvas in 1984, entitled, Krista, the Female Christ. 
Example of Regionalism, by Thomas Hart Benton, entitled, The People of Chilmark, Figure Composition, in 1920. The exhibit can be found in Hirshhorn Museum and Sculpture Garden, Washington, D.C. An Example of Kitchen Sink Realism by Jack Smith in 1953. Entitled, Mother Bathing Child. The Impressionism A major movement, first in painting and later in music, that developed chiefly in France, during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Impressionist painting comprises the work produced between about 1867 and 1886 by a group of artists who shared a set of related approaches and techniques. The most conspicuous characteristic of Impressionism was an attempt to accurately and objectively record visual reality in terms of transient effects of light and color. Vincent and Go's Starry Night in 1889 is one of the artist's most famous paintings and is a well-known example of post-impressionism. Another example of impressionism is the painting of Claude Monet in 1899 entitled The Water Lilies and Japanese Bridge, Oil on Canvas. The Fauvism and Expressionism Expressionism is a figurative art, artists purposefully disforms color, form, light, texture for desired intensification of emotional reaction. Symbolist, colors are expressive in and of itself, flattened or tilted plane, patterns, jarring textures and color, crowded space. The Scream, by Munch, in 1893. Cubism was the first abstract art style. Cubist painting abandoned the tradition of perspective drawing and displayed many views of a subject at one time. For example, the painting of Pablo Picasso, entitled, The Factory, Horta de Ebo, in 1909, Oil on Canvas. The Futurism emphasized dynamism, speed, technology, youth, violence, and objects such as the car, the airplane, and the industrial city. For example, the painting of Gino Severini, in 1912, entitled, The Dynamic Hieroglyphic of the Baltabrin, Oil on Canvas with Sequins. Suprematism s an art movement, focused on basic geometric forms, such as circles, squares, lines, and rectangles, painted in a limited range of colors. For example of Suprematism, painted by Kazimir Mablevich, entitled, Black Square, in 1915, Oil on Linen. The constructivism is the movement, emphasized building, and science, rather than artistic expression, and its goals went far beyond, the realm of art. The constructivists sought to influence architecture, design, fashion, and all mass-produced objects. Constructivists were interested in instruction rather than emerging from an expressive impulse or an academic tradition, art was to be built. For example of constructivism, the design of Alexander Rodchenko, entitled, The Hanging Spatial Construction, 
Number 9, Original Work, in 1920-1921. As a movement, Destigil influenced painting, decorative arts, including furniture design, topography, and architecture, but it was principally architecture, that realized both Destigil stylistic aims, and its goal of close collaboration, among the arts. For example, the card players, oil painting by Destigil artist Theo van Dosberg, in 1917 in the collection of the Hogsgemeente Museum, The Hague. Dadaism and Surrealism Dadaism or Dada, was a form of artistic anarchy that challenged the social, political, and cultural values of the time. Dada was not so much a style of art, like Cubism or Fauvism. It was more a protest movement, with an anti-establishment manifesto. For example, the artwork of Hannah H. H., entitled, The Incision with the Dada Kitchen Knife, Through Germany's Last Weimar Beer Belly Cultural Epoch, in 1920, a collage. Surrealism defies logic, dreams, and the workings of the subconscious mind, inspire surrealistic art, the French for super-realism, filled with strange images, and bizarre juxtapositions. For example, an oil painting of Ren Magritte, entitled, The Double Secret, in 1927. For example, an oil painting of Ren Magritte, entitled, The Double Secret, in 1927. The Abstract Expressionism Abstract Expressionism, also known as action painting, or color field painting, exploded onto the art scene, after World War II, with its characteristic messiness, and extremely energetic applications, of paint. Abstract Expressionism is also referred to as gestural abstraction because its brush strokes reveal the artist's process. For example, the liver is the coxcomb, oil on canvas by Arshal Gorky, 1944, in the Albright Knox Art Gallery, Buffalo, New York. Following the popularity of the abstract expressionists, Pop's reintroduction of identifiable imagery, drawn from mass media and popular culture, was a major shift, for the direction of modernism. Postmodernism can be seen as a reaction against the ideas, and values of modernism, as well as a description of the period, that followed modernism's dominance, in cultural theory and practice in the early and middle decades of the 20th century. The term is associated with skepticism, irony, and philosophical critiques of the concepts of universal truths and objective reality. For example, Jeff Koons, The Three Ball Total Equilibrium Tank, Two Dr. J. Silver series, Spalding NBA tip off in 1985. Deconstructionism is the breaking down or demolishing of a constructed structure, whether it being for structural reasons or just an act of rebellion. It is perhaps for this reason that many misunderstand the deconstructivist movement. Deconstructivism is, in fact, not a new architecture style, nor is it an avant-garde movement against architecture or society. It does not follow rules or acquire specific aesthetics, 
nor is it a rebellion against a social dilemma. It is the unleashing of infinite possibilities of playing around with forms and volumes. For example, the Atlan Tower, designed by Vladimir Tatlin, 